Und What do you mean? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm back at this fucking demonic game. Do I do I need to wait a minute or I think I'm already fucking streaming, bro. I I'm already streaming it, nigga. Wait, how about how how about you play it at the same time as me? Oh, okay then. Mm-hmm. Don't. Don't don't be a liar, all right? No, I said, yeah, yeah. Spawn, nigga. Why the fuck are you buying spawn? I gotta get spawn Friday. I thought you been had spawn. Tough. I, I, didn't, I didn't play that. I don't even have it anymore. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? No, no! It's my fault! They cut out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. This... It's changed the story. The dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? No. Sally, no. Anderson, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Mm -hmm. Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. 
See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Mm -hmm. Moving on. This thing... It's a bit of a light like car, Wake. Get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just... I, I need another minute. Calder Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. And a gun. You can relax, Wake. And Pages. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. It's okay. Take your time. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. doesn't see their victims as people.
animals are turning into monsters. Mm. Yo, what the fuck you talking about? No, I did not. This nigga hood lying on me. Nigga, you just said you that I told you to let him fuck you. Did you not just say that out your mouth? No. Hey, what? Why we? Why we talk about this on my stream, huh? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? No. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Something feels different. I should look around. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. The dark surface. <laughs>
the fuck? Oh, come on over here, moving. Bro, yeah, this shit messes me all, bro. There, there's no guidance where you're supposed to go in this game. Hey, what's up? Oh! Okay. To your dumps, nigga. Turn back around. This way. Nice talking to you, too. Nobody opening up this goddamn door. Straight ahead.
Jackson, how's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. <laughs> you gotta reload that shotgun. I ain't playing with nobody. What's an AWE? Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? <sighs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? I mean, I don't want to ever have to go in this forest again. <sighs> We're getting dark outside. Oh, it went the wrong way. Go. Yep. You drive. Fuck you. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hon. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Is she hallucinating? Or oh, her daughter is still alive? Uh... Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? 
You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember it. It's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. I remember. I remember. Mr. White. Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get older? Bro, that, I forgot what his name is, that black so guy. What get older? He... Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long. Uh, he and Supergirl. Hit the Green Martian. We've all been dying to know what that black not a character. Lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind bending, so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I'm confused, dude. Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck going on. So okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? Very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten 
He is worth it. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. Yeah, He's this shit by <laughs> fucking <dark> freaky. Stop <laughs> what? Guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. <sighs> I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously. I found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Note to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak. Are we all in your story, Alan? The fuck? <laughs> no, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Yeah, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once we see this. <gasps> Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? So there's no hints of where where this shit could be yet.
That's tough. This game does not want to see you fucking... I'm about to order something from the grocery store. What time is Myers close? Twelve AM, cool. Give me a second. Order me a fucking salad. All right, there we go. Uh, Wells Fargo real quick. Two hundred. Sixteen dollars. I just, I just watched this movie and that's it. No more spinning. So this room is just bending. Gotcha.
Nigga, what the fuck, bro? This game is pissing me off. No, it's not. Other room. This this room is just bending. This. Oh. And I'm locked. Push that door open. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. This shit ain't dark. <laughs> demonic. This shit is demonic as hell. Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This man, place did you not just see what the fuck I seen? The ghost of a memory surfaced about I, writing here for countless days. Demonic shit, man. Fuck no. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, uh, the nightmare don't lie to yourself, man. A summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Lamb, who the fuck do you mean? the fuck do you be mean? Group chat, what you sent? Yeah, I know. And I looked at my phone, man, right? because remember I, I, I was about I went to go buy some food right more. from the grocery store. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, I bought like a deep sea diver to go two salads and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Not trying to talk too heavy, man. Thanks, girl. 
famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here. Best selling writer, books, the films are based on. Let's do this! So I have to do that all over again. Go through that again. And again. And Welcome again. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you've voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, no I way, bro, you're lying. Yeah, I know exactly the age. They're their own thing. They, they've gone with choices that are different from mine. I. I I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... Uh, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that oh, so they're not going to heal. Rain made it fester. Oh, there. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track. To be honest, I, I believe they're going to make a movie out of this. The clue was a, a real table, movie, shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Mm -hmm. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> Ugly. That motherfucker does not want you to leave. Oh, that uh, changed, huh? Can I find it now? Can I, can I stop doing that? Mr. Wake, let's get out of here. And this nigga can't even fucking run. Really.
Hello? All right. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Impossible to say. evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a pack of uh, man's. A man, but a man with a two makes two, Tom. Agree? <laughs> and a man with a two can build his own exit. It's in a shoe box. In the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Give me this key. Stupid fucking dinner. Nope, no, not to talk to you again. Hey, you have a nice day, buddy. Um. The basement. 
boom. Uh, hold on. Basement. They don't even show you how to get to the basement. Unless this is the way. lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lab, the whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming, the bulb glowed, it held the light now. Another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. wants to draw me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. A danger and a horror <laughs> real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass, that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean, and a lake. That's not like. Some say that 
I mean three. I mean three. ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. no one. I wanted to keep it that way. Caldera Street Station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. The lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it.
There was a light at the end of the alley ahead. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake. The Alan writer. Alan Wake. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Leave it gone. Leave it gone. Is this, bro? This shit freaky as hell. The fuck? This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. Give me that. I had a light. Like I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, the rest of the shadows blocked my way. That nigga actually hit me. The shadows faded out until they didn't. Stop me. Ooh, I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. I'm 
I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. So you telling me I gotta go back out here and go find another light. What? I could just save this and just play it another day. Uh -oh. All right. 